I first learned about print on demand towards the end of 2022, just from a random TikTok that I saw. The kind of TikTok that has someone telling you, here's how you can make passive income, quit your job, work from home, make X amount of dollars a day. And I think we have all seen those TikToks before, but I decided to give it a shot and began a print on demand business of my own in October of 2022. Since then, my business has generated over $57,000 in revenue to date. And of that revenue, I have profited nearly $16,000, which if we average that out, it brings my profit to be about $1,700 a month, which has been absolutely life-changing for me. I truly believe anyone can have success with this business model. I had no experience whatsoever going into the type of work and strategies that are involved with print on demand, but I was able to learn along the way. And that is why I started this channel to be able to help guide others to that success and just sharing the strategies that I've learned thus far and probably will continue to learn along my journey. My name is Taylor and my channel is focused on all things Etsy and print on demand. If those are two things that interest you, I encourage you to boop that subscribe button down below and follow me and my journey to becoming a six-figure Etsy seller. I share helpful tutorials and tips and tricks on my channel as well. So what is print on demand and how do you get started? started. Print on demand is a business model that allows you to sell custom design products without the need for inventory. How it works is you would partner with a printing company and decide what platform you will be selling your products on. Most print companies are able to be integrated with a few different platforms, which we will discuss later in this video. From there, it's time to begin creating designs, then upload those designs to your print company's website. When you receive an order for that item, your print company will then receive that order order print package and ship that item for you so that you do not have to do any of the physical work or purchase and keep any inventory. And ultimately that's where the term print on demand comes from. The item isn't made until a purchase has been made by the customer, hence the on demand. This is great for you because this means that there is very little upfront cost as you would only pay for the price of the product to your print company for the item to be made and then collect your profit through the revenue made on that sale. There are several different print on demand companies out there that you can utilize with this business model. The two most common that I see others using and that I personally use are Printify and Printful. Printify is an incredibly user-friendly platform that I personally have used within my print on demand business. And I like to think of Printify like an umbrella and and underneath Printify's umbrella, they connect you with a wide network of print providers worldwide. Printful is another great print provider that I do use as well. How Printful differs from Printify is Printful is the actual print provider themselves. So they do not act as an umbrella with a network of alternate print providers that you may use like Printify. Printful is the sole manufacturer of the products you choose to sell on their platform. So with that being said, said, I currently still use both of these companies for my print on demand business. However, I do utilize Printify for majority of my products for the reason being if an item that I sell is ever out of stock because they have a multitude of print providers under their umbrella, I can easily just reroute an order to a different print provider on Printify's platform so that I can fulfill that order still and not worry about delays. Both print companies also have a wide range of unique products that can be found on their site, such as these around me. And something more unique to Printful that I've personally used and loved is that they have a wider variety of product types that offer embroidery, which is an extremely popular product variation at this time that can be done with Print On Demand. Printify does offer some product types with the ability to add embroidery. However, it is just a bit limited at this time still. The next thing to consider when getting started with Print On Demand is where are you going to sell your products? As I mentioned earlier in this video, my my channel is focused more towards Etsy as that is the platform that I have chosen to sell my products on. However, many print on demand sellers get started on Shopify as that is another really great platform. Each platform will have its pros and cons and depending on your goals and what you would like to be able to do with this business model will ultimately determine which platform is best for you. Some of the pros to utilizing Etsy as your platform for your print on demand business. One, Etsy has a a pre-established and extremely large audience. 
Their platform has grown significantly in the last few years and has become more of a household name. And what's great about Etsy's audience is most individuals come to Etsy with intent to buy. Etsy is often thought of as a gift giving platform where individuals come to buy unique items for a loved one. And so individuals who come to Etsy typically are already thinking of something that they want for somebody else or for themselves. And what generally happens is they will type in a search query for that type of item in the search bar, scroll through, find what they want and make that purchase. Creating a shop on Etsy is pretty straightforward and requires minimal technical know-how. So if you feel you aren't the most tech savvy, that might be a great indicator to start with Etsy as it's pretty beginner friendly. The third pro is the payment processing. Etsy handles all payment processing for you, just providing a secure and convenient way for customers to purchase your products without you having to worry about it. And lastly are the SEO benefits. Etsy's search engine optimization or SEO can help your products rank higher in search results, gaining you more visibility. And this will increase the likelihood of potential customers finding your products and ultimately you making sales. Of course, with the pros, there are also some cons to Etsy, first being marketplace fees. While setting up an Etsy shop is free, the platform does charge various fees. These include listing fees for each product and transaction fees on each sale. These costs can impact your profit margin if you're not pricing your products appropriately. You can find a ton of free profit calculators online that you can use to make sure that you're pricing your item appropriately so that you're still making a profit on each sale. The second con would be the limited customization. While you can can personalize your Etsy shop to a certain extent, it still operates within Etsy's framework and design limitations. This means you might feel you have less creative control over that overall appearance and branding of your online store compared to a standalone website. The third con is the competition. Etsy is a crowded marketplace and your print on demand products will face competition from numerous other sellers trying to do the same thing as you. Standing out from the competition can be a challenge challenge, but not impossible if you're bringing a unique design and value proposition to your ideal customers. If you want to build a brand and have more control over your online store, Shopify might be the way to go. With Shopify, you can create a professional looking website. And that goes with my first pro for using Shopify. With Shopify, you have full control and customization. You have complete control over your store's design, layout, and branding. Meaning, you can create a unique and personalized shopping experience for your customers and enhance yourself as a unique brand. My second pro would be Shopify's app store. They have an extensive app store with numerous add-ons and plugins that can enhance your store's functionality from marketing and SEO tools to customer support and analytics. These apps can help optimize your print on demand business. And the cons, Shopify does have monthly costs as well. It does operate on a monthly subscription model. While it does offer different pricing plans, these costs do need to be factored into your overall budget. And depending on your chosen pricing plan, Shopify may also charge transaction fees on each sale made. The second con is the learning curve. If you're new to building and managing an online store, there might be a learning curve with Shopify. And so it's not as beginner friendly if you're just getting started. And lastly, similar to Etsy, there's going to be competition. As with any e-commerce platform, you're going to face competition from other sellers. It's essential to develop a strong marketing strategy so that you can stand out and bring your target customer to your website. Though this is where you may find additional costs that need to be considered for marketing your website through Google or maybe Facebook. I feel that these pros and cons will help you make a more informed decision about what is best for you and what is the most important aspects to you. But the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys are my three tips for success with this business model. My first tip would be niche 
targeting. It can be helpful when starting out to identify a specific niche you're looking to target for your products and trying to sub niche as much as possible as this will help break through market saturation. Whether your niche is a hobby, passion, or interest, this will help you attract a dedicated audience. What I recommend is conducting research utilizing tools such as E-Rank, Everbee, or Sales Samurai, which I have links to all three in the description. These tools will help you determine which niches are in demand that you could begin designing for. And I also do have an 18 month niche calendar in the description box that includes over 40 niches that you can target within your business and when to begin posting products for that niche. My second tip is high quality designs. Because the print-on-demand space and e-commerce in general is highly competitive, it's important that you are creating eye-catching and unique designs that resonate with your target audience. Creating quality designs that are also one of a kind will set you apart from the competition. Tools that can help with design that I use and recommend include Creative Fabrica, which has tons of already pre-made graphics and fonts that you can use to create those unique designs. And another helpful tool would be Kittle. Kittle is a design software that has tons of templates that you can pick and choose from to create your own unique designs, as well as it has AI integrated. So you are able to create even more unique and one-of-a-kind designs by giving the AI some type of prompt for what you're looking to create. And my third tip would be marketing and promotion. If you have chosen to utilize Shopify as your platform, it's important to have a marketing strategy. Social media is is a great way to engage with your target audience and bring customers to your products. If you've chosen Etsy as your platform, I highly suggest the use of Etsy ads with a budget you feel comfortable with. If you would like to learn more about my specific strategy when it comes to Etsy ads, I will have that video linked in the description box down below for you to watch next. And if you've made it to this point in the video and are still feeling a bit overwhelmed, I do offer a kickstart workshop where we can work together one-on-one -on -one to get you started with print on demand, specifically using Etsy and Printify, as well as I do offer coaching opportunities for a select number of individuals each month who have maybe already started in the print on demand space and are just needing some guidance on what their next steps should be. So if that's you, be sure to check out the description box as that is where the links will be for both of those opportunities. If you found value in this video, don't forget to boop the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos like this. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one.